Hey everybody, this geometry lesson is on congruent triangles. So let's go ahead and begin. This is a quick one, I think. So if two figures are congruent, then all their parts in one figure are congruent to all the corresponding parts of the other figure. Let me show you what that means here. So here I have uh, two triangles and all the parts are congruent. So it looks like angle I is congruent to angle T because they have one markings on it. Uh, let's see, angle G that has two markings is congruent to angle N. And then finally, angle V would be congruent to angle A because they have the three markings. Segment GI is congruent to segment, uh, and I went from uh, the two strikes to the one strike, so uh, I would write it as segment NI or NT, okay? And then so on. So what are all the congruent parts? So, so just make sure you're putting them in the appropriate order right there, and that's what you're looking for. I have some more examples to explain that. Okay, so in this diagram, uh, K-E-R-H is congruent to O-U-L-A. Okay, so that means K corresponds with O, E is equal to U, R is equal to a, uh, L, and H is equal to A. Okay, and these all go in order. For, so if I said segment uh, K-H, I went from first to last, I, that's equal to segment O-A. Okay, so here's K-H down here. OA would be up here. Anyways, let's find X right there. So X, uh, this one has X and Y. I'm going to deal with this X right here. This just has X. So OU, OU would correspond to uh, the first and second letter. So the first and second letter KE. So it's going to equal this 9 right here. So 3X minus 6 equals that 9. And you get X equals 5. Okay, and then let's go find Y. I'm going to plug in X equals 5 right there and solve for Y. Angle A is the last letter, so angle A would be equal to the last letter here, angle H. So um, angle A is equal to 44 degrees, so 4X plus 2Y equals 44 degrees. Don't forget X equals 5, and you get uh, Y equals 12. Okay, so theorems. If two angles in one triangle are congruent to two angles in another triangle, let's take a picture of this right here. That's talking about this. You see how two angles over here are equal to two angles over here? Well, if those two angles are equal, then that means that the third pair of angles have to be equal because uh, they, they add up to 180, remember? So if these two angles equal and these two angles equal, then these two guys are the rest of the 180 in each, so they have to be equal, okay? It's called the third pair of angles theorem or something like that, you guys. I just, I'd say it like this. If two angles of one triangle are equal to two angles of another triangle, then the third pair of angles must be congruent. Okay, all right, so this one uh, looks kind of confusing. Typical geometry uh, problem here. They, they combine a bunch of stuff together and always, always, always separate those triangles up. It makes it look a lot easier. Notice two marks goes down here with V, two marks goes down here with N, and this mark right here is angle SEN, so SEN is right there, so that's that 40 right there. Okay, and then so it, uh, we're looking for now angle SEV. That's in this triangle, SEV. Okay, so if this is 40, that's 40 right there. So I'm going to plug in a 40 right there. And then so remember triangles over here are 180, so 40 plus 35 is uh, 75. So this one here is the rest of the 180, and that's what I'm looking for right there. So the rest of 180 is going to get me uh, uh, the measure of angle SEV is 105. Okay, so properties of triangles. Uh, reflexive property. Reflexive happens a lot. Any triangle equals itself right here. Symmetric property right here. If triangle ABC is congruent to triangle DEF, then flip them around and you can say DEF is congruent to ABC. Okay? Transitive property. If ABC is congruent to DEF and then DEF is congruent to JKL, then, then ABC must be congruent to JKL. That's the transitive property. Okay? Said it was nice and easy, wasn't it?